Seth Shostak, Senior Astronomer at the SETI Institute. Many of you know the Kepler mission is up there now. It's uh, staring at 100,000 stars over a small part of the sky in the constellation of Cygnus. And of course it's looking for planets. But it's looking for the kind of small planets that might be host to life. Well, when are we going to hear something about it? You can bet that in its first month of operation, Kepler is going to find lots and lots of big planets close in, so-called hot Jupiters. Now those hot Jupiters won't be reported probably until after the first of the year. In other words, the beginning of 2010, because they want to check those data with Earth-based telescopes just to make sure that everything's on the up and up before they start talking about smaller planets. Those smaller planets will take a while before they're going to be discovered because we've got to see them go around three times and in the case of a planet like the Earth, that would take three years. So it'll be a couple of years before we know whether there are any cousins of the Earth out there, but we're going to learn that within the next thousand days. My bet we'll find lots of them. You can learn more about Kepler by checking out the articles on this website and do a search on John Jenkins, J-E-N-K-I-N-S. He's a SETI Institute employee who's very directly involved with the data reduction from this fantastic new device to find out if we have other planets like Earth up there in the skies. This is Seth Shostak. Thanks very much.